So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every Friday. Now, in today's Tax Fridays, we're going to talk about a function that you might not need very often, but useful to know when you need it. It is called sample, and you saw that on the title. So sample does what it says. It creates a sample of a table of data, okay? so. <laughs> It is actually quite easy to use and handy. Let's say that you have a table that is too big and you want to extract a random sample to be able to do calculations or something. You can actually do that in um, DAX. And I'm going to show you why. How? I'm going to show you with a small table so you see. Uh, this is one thing that is easy to understand if you actually see what's going on. So for example, if I would write do a sample data of the order details table, you won't see anything. So there's no point in that. We're going to do a random sample of products or the product table on the North Wind data set that we always use. So sample returns a table. So we need to create a new table. Okay. Um, and this is how we're going to do equal shift enter. And then you just write a sam uh, sample. <laughs> now, let's take a look at the documentation. It says here, a sample returns a, a sample of n rows from this specified table, and then you have a n value is the first parameter and is the number of rows that you want to have. The table is the table that you want to draw a sample from, and then you have the possibility to order the table by another column or columns, and then uh, Put the order, put them in order. So you can draw a sample based on an order of another column. And the sample can be deterministic or not, or random. So the opposite, if you don't know what deterministic means, is basically the opposite of random. It's, it is a sample that you can with 100% confidence predict how is it going to be. So it is based on a formula and it is, uh, that's why it's deterministic, you know, it is determined by some factors. So um, how about we get started? I'm talking too much. Okay, sample, let's pick 10, a sample of 10 products from where? From the product table. And then in which order? You have zero or one. Zero is the sending and this is the default value when order parameter is omitted. So maybe we can just do like that. It says the minimum argument is three. So no, it cannot be <laughs> omitted. We have to write it. Okay, so zero is the sending, one is ascending. So now it's going to give us a table with 10 products. And it says here 10, and this is, a random sample because we haven't specified an order by column. If we do that and we sort by it, then it becomes deterministic. Let me show you. If we sort this by product name and then we do ascending, why not? So now you see this changed and here's what it says that it does. It, it says it takes the first row always of the data set. It takes the last row of the data sets and then evenly distributed rows between them. That's why it's deterministic. You can predict which rows you will get. So if we go in here, we see that the first value of the product table is Alice and the last one is Sanske. <laughs> I don't know what that is. If you know, let me know. This database is quite fun. Anyhow, where is my my random table, here it is, my sample table. So it takes the first one, it takes the last one by ascending order, and then even steps in between. You don't need to take product name, you can take product ID, and it will take from one to 77, okay? So cool, it's quite cool. It's a cool function, actually. Now, what does it say? More things, it says, if you put 10 point Five, it's not going to complain, but it's going to round up. If it is over, you know, 10.5, it will be 11 rows that we have now. If I put 10.3, it will be 10. So it will round down under 0.5, round up over 
it says if value is zero, it will return an empty table because you're saying, don't give me any rows. Why would you do that? Don't know. But if what it does, and it says in order to avoid duplicate values in the sample, the table provided as a second argument, so the product table should be grouped by something. So if you group by something your table, you will avoid having duplicates on your sample table. Good. Did we cover everything? I think so. So now you know how to round, how to extract random data from your table to using DAX. Voila. Okay, so this is all for today. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Probably you are on Christmas holidays, so this is a lightweight video, perfect for that. I'll see you again on Monday as always. Until then, take care, and if you're on holidays, enjoy your holidays. Bye-bye. <laughs>